In this video, we're going to look at how to solve inequalities. You should already know what these four symbols mean. However, if you're unsure, you may want to watch this video first. Inequalities are used throughout life. Any time that there are a range of values possible, inequalities are involved rather than an equal sign. Like if you're calculating the time to get somewhere because your speed has to be less than the speed limit. Or if you have a monthly budget, how much can you spend each day? So let's have a look at how to solve inequalities. We solve them in the exact same way as equations. In fact, just think of the inequality as you would an equal sign. Which on a number line would look like this. Generally, we don't touch the inequality. We just solve around it and there'll be no mistakes. The only thing we have to keep an eye out for is negative x's. I personally recommend that you move the x to make it positive. So add x to both sides and solve from there. So x is larger than one. There is another option. Imagine we'd started by moving the three we would have ended up with negative x. To make x positive, we need to divide by the negative. When we divide by a negative, we also need to change the direction of the inequality, so x is bigger than one. You just need to remember to change the direction of the inequality if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative. But, we can just avoid this completely, like we did in the first method, and focus on moving the x to become positive earlier on. I definitely prefer this method. Here are two inequalities for you to solve. Pause the video, solve, and click play when you're ready. How did you get on? What if we were given this question? We need to get x on its own in the middle. Whatever we do to one part, we need to do to all of the other parts. So divide everything by two, and that's our final answer. Or on this one, we need to subtract seven from every part, and then divide every part by three. Here are two for you to do. Just be careful with the second one though, because you're going to have a negative x, which means you're going to have to flip the direction of the inequalities. Pause the video, solve the questions, and click play when you're ready. How did you get on? So that's all there is to solving inequalities. You just treat them like a normal equation with an equal sign. The only thing you need to be careful about is if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative, then you need to change the direction of the inequalities. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.